Hello, my name is Muhammad Ali. I am pharmacist by profession. I have nearly 40 years of experience working in pharmaceutical industries. I work for big names like Johnson & Johnson and Novartis. In this tutorial, I, I am going to talk about the risk priority number from the failure moves and effect analysis. Let me define what is failure moves and effect analysis. It is a systematic proactive method for gauging a process. An FMEA identifies the opportunities for failure or failure modes in each step of the process. Each failure mode assigns a numeric score that quantifies the amount of harm or damage that failure mode may cause to a person or to a patient, likelihood that the failure will occur likelihood that the failure will go undetected. Now what is uh, risk priority number? Risk priority number is, is, is the product of severity, occurrence and detectability. And now what is the risk analysis? List the process step. We, we just have to first list the process step then ident identify uh, the potential failure mode look at each process steps and identify way it could potentially fail. This information can be gathered from the deviation out of specification, out of trend, complaints and etc. List each failure mode and potential effect. List the potential cause of the failure. Now how to do, uh, do rating for the risk? If, 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 if severity is very high then uh, then we have to score it as, as, as high if, if severity is very low then we can score it at 1. Similarly we have to score uh, for occurrence and, and, and frequency. If, if occurrence is, 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 is too many then that, then we, we, we can rate it as a 5. If occurrence is negligible then we can rate it as 1. Then, then, then we have to see the detectability. If it detectability is, is very good, then we can rate it as five. If detectability is very poor, then we can rate it, then we can rate it as one. Here is the scale for severity. If 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 severity is negligible, then then we can just rate it as one. If it, if it is marginal, then we can rate it as two. If it is moderate, then we can rate it as three. If it is major. Or, second, or, 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 or it can cause significant injury that then we can rate it as 5. If it is very critical it, it, that, that means, that means it, 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 it can cause a serious injury or th that of a person that then we can rate it as 5. So here how to rate the different degree of the severity. Now how to rate the occurrence? If it, 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 uh, occurrence is, is very low, extremely unlikely, then we can rate it as 1. If, if, if it, it, it is occasional, we can rate it as 3. If, if it is very frequent, then that, that, that means we, if, uh, occurrence is again and again, then we can rate it as 5. Now, rate for detection. If detection system is, is, is very high, we, 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 we can detect the, during the process the defects and everything, the, then, we, then we can rate it as 1. If detection is, uh, process is, is uh, very low, and it, 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 the product may go undetected or the fault may go undetected, then we can rate it as 5. Here is uh, FMEA template we just have to write down the process steps here and the potential failure mode over here and potential failure effect over here then we have to score for severity if it it, it, it is very if, if severity is very high that, that means it, it can cause the serious injury or the death of a person here in that case we have to rate it as 5 if, if severity is very low it, then we can rate it as 1 then, then uh, we, we have to find out the potential causes for that and then uh, 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 occurrence of that failure. If, uh, if it, is a, it, is, it is occurring again and again, that, then we have to rate it as 5. If, if occurrence is very low, 
that that it, it occurs very suddenly that then we can say that we can rate it as one then we have to see our, our current control procedure if if we have very good detectability we we can detect the failure uh, during the process then we can rate it as one if detectability is very poor th that means the product can and uh, our product or uh, product failure ca can go undetected then we can rate it as five now if our uh, risk priority number is very high then we have to take some corrective and preventive measure which is called kappa and uh, that is uh, we have to take some kind of action just to reduce the severity and and, and just to reduce the uh, occurrence of the failure and and also we we have to improve the detectability so that we can detect and uh, 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 any kind of failure during the process and after doing this kappa we again have to find out the uh, risk priority number our risk priority number after the kappa must be less than risk priority number before the kappa now let's calculate the risk priority number by taking an example now here is a tablet which is called dexamethasone 0.5 mg tablet or the, the, the strength is very low that is 500 microgram now, dex, uh, now dexamethasone is a corticosteroid used to treat a variety of the conditions such as the allergic disorders, inflammation of the skin and the breathing disorders. Now what kind of failure can occur in, in, in the process of manufacturing of dexamethasone 0.5 mg tablet? Uh, and, and Let's say that uh, we are getting few cases of uh, uh, out of specification for content uniformity test. Let's say most of the, of, of the time our our results uh, results for content uniformity is is out uh, out of trend, or uh, or the weight variation is uh, is very high. The the CPK for weight variation of tablet is uh, uh, less than 0.33. Now, uh, uh, here I would like to say that the, the variation of content of active for potent drugs such as dexamethasone is, is very very dangerous uh, as high and low dose may aggravate the condition of the patient. Now let's uh, calculate the risk priority number for dexamethasone 0.5 mg tablet. Let's say the severity is very high that is for its, its uh, content uniformity is not meeting the requirement and since it, 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 since dexamethasone is, is a very potential drug and the low and high dose may cause injury to the patient and uh, let's say uh, uh, occurrence is very frequent as rated as 4 that, that, that is out of specification and, and out of trend is 4 occurrence is 4 and let's say the detectability is moderate uh, 3 now to find out the risk priority number we have to multiply 4 5 uh, into 4 into 3 so product of these 3 is uh, 60 so our this priority number in, in, in this case is 60. Now to improve the content uniformity following steps may be taken. We have we, we might have to revalidate the manufacturing process. We might have to see in the mixing time. We, we, we might have to increase the mixing time. We might have to increase the speed of the mixture. To, to increase the content uniformity or or uh, and and we, 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 we might have to take correct action like uh, increase the in, in process test during the in process we we, 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 are, we are testing more samples so as to detect the the failure during the process so now uh, now let's score uh, different uh, severity occurrence and de detection we, uh, uh, after taking the kappa, that means after taking the corrective and preventive action, let's say the severity is, is, is 5, it's again the same. 
it can cause the uh, serious injury, injury to the uh, patient if the content uniformity is not meeting the requirement and, and, and in, 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 in this such a um, highly potent drug the content uniformity is very important so since low and high dose may cause uh, may, may cause injury or, or, or death of the patient. Now, let's say that we have uh, a, a, a occurrence is, 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 is now not very frequent. Let's say we have very good detection system in place. So the RPN here here is a product of severity, occurrence and detection will be 20. So you can see that the reduction in, in, in RPM is from 60 to 20. So after taking the kappa, uh, we, we were able to reduce the RPM number. Now risk management. Risk management consists of the risk. First we have to risk, analyze the risk and, and then first we have to detect the risk, then we have to evaluate the risk and then we have to think how to mitigate the risk and then we have to reduce the risk this is how uh, the, the risk management work now thank you very much in the end i would like to quote the galileo uh, galileo says measure the measurable and bring immeasurable to measurable thank you